Hi, I'm Sundata Yet Bilirel Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction System Integration and Architecture Series. Today is our lecture number 5. Let's proceed on our topic for today. So we have the overview of system integration, challenges, and drives, part 4. Now, we have the ERP implementation. Before implementing ERP, an organization has to plan and understand the life cycle of this system. The key to a successful implementation is to use a proven methodology. Take it one step at a time and begin with understanding of the ERP life cycle. The ERP system implementation are very risky, and using a well-defined project plan with a proven methodology will assist in managing those risks. There must be a strong, well-communicated need to make the change from the existing information system application to an ERP. So we have the figure of ERP implementation. So we have here the product cycle, life cycle. We have the implementation, application management, operation, and post-production. And under the implementation, we have resource requirements, the production, high, medium, and low. And we have the major updates or upgrades new mo modules okay the backlog go live testing development design and gap project review below we have the requirements gathering gap analysis general system design build and test implementation establishment, and production support and we have the functional technical and change management and that is the implementation methodology. So, ERP implementation identify the methodology on how to implement ERP. Next, we have software and vendor selection. It is best for an organization that does not have the experience in developing ERP system to purchase one on the market. For example, as a BSIT student, you didn't create your own program, okay? So, no need to make an ERP. So, you need to buy rather than doing nothing on the company itself. Now, before selecting a vendor, the organization must carefully evaluate its current and future needs in enterprise management system. Review the organization's existing hardware, network, and software infrastructure, and the resource available for the implementation. So, we have vendor evaluation, business functions or modules supported by their software, features and integration capability of the software financial viability of the vendor as well as length of time they have been in business, licensing and upgrade policies, customer service and help the support, total cost of ownership, IT infrastructure requirements, third-party software integration, legacy system support integration, consulting and training services, future goals and plans for a short and long term. Actually, if we're going to get software under ERP, you're going to train by the company who is going to sell the software. That is the the way in the Philippines. Now, operations and post implementation. Going live, go live is one of the most critical points in a project success. It is vital to focus the effort of all project teams to ensure that tasks and activities are completed before going live because this is real time. It means to say, what you are doing has been seen by any clients. Next, so five areas of stabilization, and these are important. First is training for end user, reactive support, example help desk uh, for troubleshooting, auditing support to make sure that data quality is not compromised by the new system, data fix to resolve data migration and errors revealed by audits, New features and functionalities to support the evolving needs of the organization. Next, we have people and organizations, project management. For an ERP system to be implemented successfully, a project management must provide strong leadership, a clear and understood implementation plan, and close monitoring of the budget. Specifically, this is the way that the information technology or the IT and the computer science has been doing. Next, we have consultants. It is often the case for organization without much ERP implementation experience to use implementation partners such as consultants. Next, we have people and organization. Change management. Role is essential because it prepares for changes to how business is done in implementing new systems, communicating, 
preparing and setting expectation is as important as providing training and support. Next is business process reengineering. Business processes will need to be changed, adjusted, or adapted to the new system to use the functionality of an ERP system fully. And global ethical and security management. Outsourcing overseas ethical issue and problems with system security have also attracted a lot of attention in ERP implementation. So we have here the ERP vendors. The first tire, the second tire, and the third tire. Now, right here we have SAP is very important, Oracle, a business suit, JD Edwards, the PeopleSoft, and we have the Microsoft Dynamic. Then in the second tire, Epicor, Sage or Sage, Infor, IFS, CAD, Lawson, CDC Software. And in the third tire, we have Abbas, Activant Solution, Bowen and Groves, Compeer, Exact, NetSuit, Visibility, CGS, Hansa World, Consona, Cispro. So these are vendors of ERP. They are software companies. So under the figure, we have tire 2. 30%, SAP 31, Oracle 25, MS Dynamics 15. So this has been proven that what you need to study is something like this three, the SAP, Oracle, and MS Dynamics. Oracle is the same as FaxPro. Now ERP vendors, SAP is the recognized global leader among ERP vendors with over 12 million users. Its solutions are very for all types of industries and for every major market. You can go to www.sap.com so you can check. Next we have Oracle PeopleSoft. As the second largest ERP vendor, Oracle provides solution divided by industry category and promises long-term support for customer of PeopleSoft. Acquired in 2004, you can check out www.oracle.com and the last we have the Microsoft Dynamics formerly Microsoft Business Solution or Great Plains Microsoft Dynamics is a comprehensive business management solution built on the Microsoft platform because you need to install SAP and Oracle first with its uh, you cannot use this without online but there are also not online but uh, how can you use ERP ERP is used in integration so without the online, there is no integration. Next, we have ERP vendors. We have Infor, the world's third largest provider of enterprise software. It delivers integrated enterprise solution in supply chain, customer relationship, and supplier management. Next, we have Lawson, industry-tailored software solution that includes enterprise performance, management distribution, financials, human resources, procurement, and retail operation. You can go to www.lawson.com. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and good luck. Congratulations. Successfully finished our lecture number 5.